Hey guys, it's Dave Boyle on Game Enthusiast Resident PC Gamer, and this week we're taking a look at Crimson Skies. Um, chances are, if I mention Crimson Skies, you'll automatically think back to the Xbox title, uh, Crimson Sky High Road Revenge, released in 2003. And while that's a great game, we're actually going a little further back. Three years prior, in the year 2000, Microsoft Game Studios and Zephyr Interactive brought out the original Crimson Skies to PC. But the history even goes further back. FASA, the studio that was working on this, the guys who made Battletech, MechWarrior, and also worked on the Shadowrun RPG and uh, pen and paper RPG, were developing the Crimson Skies game as a board game, which released in 1998. It was a cardboard board game where you actually have little cardboard versions of your ships, uh, your airplanes, and you'd actually be able to play that tabletop. Now, the original FASA developers started working on Crimson Skies in their after hours as a labor of love. They came up with this universe and said, it's stuck in our heads and we want the world to see it. So while they weren't working on Mech Warrior or Shadow Run or Star Trek or Doctor Who, they actually were working on this in their after hours. Upon being purchased by Microsoft, FASA actually began working on a PC game in coordination with Zipper Interactive. And that's the same Zipper Interactive that we know today as a Sony Computer Entertainment first party developer who uh, actually makes the SOCOM games and latest game released was uh, SOCOM 4 and prior to that, MAG, a uh, massive action game. Now, this is actually Zipper's last game they made independently before being purchased by SC. So, it's actually kind of a big deal. <laughs> so, Crimson Skies was released in September 17th, 2000 to the home PC with high reviews from GameSpot, IGN, uh, but, for example, Edge gave it a 5 out of 10, and the reasons for this were hardware compatibility issues. Uh, the game, while it was fun, you'll see a movie-like atmosphere um, with a Han Solo-like character. The compatibility issues with graphics cards and certain sound cards actually kept them from playing and you'd see consistent crashes until, crashes until Microsoft releases patches 1.01 and 1.02. Once they were released, the general population sees it as a cult following for this game. There are still people playing it today, even though it is difficult to get running. But if you go out onto the internet, you can actually find tutorials about how to resolve the graphic differences from an 11-year-old game. So now what we're going to do, hop into campaign, and we'll be introduced to Nathan Zachary, who is voiced by Daniel Ryden, who we probably all will best recognize. Well, I don't know if we'll all know it, but... He was Turbo Man in Jingle All the Way, the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Christmas movie, as well as most recently he was the houseboat neighbor in The Parenthood, if you watch that show. So, as for our character Nathan Zachary, he's the leader of the Fortune Hunters, a group of sky pirates in, the in 1937. We'll see that America is divided into separate nation states, and that because of that, the highway and railroad systems have essentially gone in disuse. And America's love with flight has become how the, the how we travel around. Nathan sees himself as a Robin Hood character, stealing from the rich and those who can, but has strict rules not to hurt the innocent and giving back. So anyway, let's hop into the campaign and we'll get started. Uh, one final note, I'm using a 360 controller to pilot the game, so it actually works with a lot of more recent technology once you finagle it. So I get to pick our name, so while well, I love Nathan Zachary, and I kind of secretly wish he was relation, related to Nathan Drake from Uncharted, I'm going to go with my usual... From the nation of Hollywood to the Empire State, news film from around the world on your neighborhood screen today, delivered via high-speed airmail. This is Aerotone News. Airborne Shipping, the new king of commerce. Across all 23 American nations, old-fashioned trains, ships, and trucks are no match for the modern Zeppelin. Shipments have never been faster. Mountains, forests, and rivers? No problem for these luxury liners of the sky. But with modern air shipping comes modern air pirates, the scourge of the sky. Not since the days of wooden ships and iron men have pirates so cursed the world. Hunting the skies between the Americas for loot and cargo, and even the occasional kidnapping. But such villainy is answered in force. 
government militias and private security companies have responded, raising their own air forces to fight the criminals, to beat the devils at their own game. Score one for the good guys. The Parade of Aces. The hair-raising adventures of these heroes have captured the imagination of the world. New York ladies' man, loyal showstopper Crawford. Aviation security pioneer, Paladin Blake. Hollywood blonde shell, Charlie Steele. Ex-pirate turned pirate hunter, Easter Whitaker. The Parade of Infamy, the villains of the air. Double-crossing ex-Texas air ranger, the murderous Marshal Bill Redmond. From Wall Street Raider to Zeppelin Bandit, the vicious Jonathan Genghis Khan. The pirate with a secret purpose, the brilliant and mysterious Black Swan. Don't let her beauty fool you, boys. This one's too hot to handle. And the undertaker of the sky out of Skyhaven, cold-blooded newcomer Ulysses Booth. But the pirate's short life of fame, daring, and fortune always ends the same in a twisted metal coffin. The battle rages on, but justice will prevail. The criminals of the air... What gives, boss? You, the world-famous Nathan Zachary, didn't even make it into this month's parade of infamy. <laughs> Trust me, Jacko. With what I've got planned, we will. Boss, this is Sparks. Y you still alive in there? Yeah. Gee, Skipper, you're missing the whole works. The party, the cookout, the women. When are you going to join us? I'll be down when I can, kid. See, I told you. He's not budging. Give me that face. Gee, it's Tex. Not only are you missing Big John's choice eats, but Justine here says she ain't done with you yet. Nathan, where are you? We miss you. I miss you. <laughs> Chief, you played work too hard. Why, you only spent one night with the ladies. And what a night it was. See, blowing off steam's good for a fella. What I'm getting at, sir, is that it's been a tough month. We all know how sore you are about that rat Miles double-crossing us in Cuba, but he's sleeping with the fishes now, and you'll figure out some plan to make us all rich again. You always do. Tex, let's not ever talk about Lucas Miles again. Understood? Now I've got work to do. He's hopeless! Here, you try. Jack here. What are you reading now, Zachary? British politics, uh, shipping reports? The Secret Journeys, a Hawaiian oral history of Sir Francis Drake, 1578 to 1580. Got it yesterday. You see, you see, that's sad, that you need to get out more. Fascinating. Everyone thinks Captain Cook discovered the Hawaiian Islands in 1778, but in 1579, the English privateer Sir Francis Drake was here. He lost his largest ship, the Teresa, in a storm near here, off the Kapaui Islands. All hands presumed lost. Oh, wow, no kidding. 1579, cheese and crackers. You know, I'll be sure to tell the crew. Jacko? Yeah? We're not here for fun. We're here for training. Remember that leather mat we pinched in Tortuga? Two years ago. Yeah, sure. How can I forget? I finally figured out what it is. It's the map of the Teresa's last route, Jed. She was full of stolen Spanish gold, and I think I found her. Oh, why, you old devil. So, as we can see, my Uncharted comment earlier, kind of spot on, because another story with Sir Francis Drake and a treasure hunter follower, even with a protagonist named Nathan. But as you can see, now we're into our, our main screen, and this is where we can change mementos on the desk, we'll go into plane construction, and then mission. So, first we'll play with the change memento, it's a little thing, but hey, what can I say, she's kind of so, we'll go into plane construction. We'll go Tiny's plane. And right now, all I have is the Devastator to choose from. So I can choose... No, I'm going to do a faster engine, but that means I'm going to have to reduce... the gun, I can actually go... Do 
five on that and see if we can... Yeah, we're on 20 points. I don't think I'm going to be able to put another. Let me try for one more. Though. Nah, no luck. So, I think we're ready. 20 pounds light. Give me a little more maneuverability. purchase oh I have no money so I guess I can't do that but as you can see you can customize your weapon or your uh, plane so let's go into the next mission morning everyone morning sir <laughs> say the Medusas must throw some kind of party <laughs> it's nine o'clock in Danville sir <laughs> yeah now here's the whole works Jack filled you in on the real reason you were in Hawaii to break gold sites down to three. The first site is in the Twister on the Kapa'aui Islands. I had a shipwreck here way up there. You're looking for the treasure, Jack? Not the treasure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the treasure. The survivors may have rescued the gold from the wreck and hid it up on the system. Or I figure they may have buried it in the valley during the second time. Or maybe the wreck is washed ashore in the same valley during a storm. Now, the third and last site's out here somewhere, probably in the creek. I'll need only one wingman for today's mission. Yeah, sure. Make me do all the work. Actually, Jack, I was thinking of taking Betty. What? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, you'll get over it. We gotta give the new pilots as much flying time as we can afford. It's gonna be quiet out there, so we don't wanna give them any basic tips on how to fly like a ship. Besides, Jack, I want you to ride with me in my plane. We'll check out each site from the air, take a lay of the land. If we find anything, I'll circle back around so you can bail out and verify the location from the ground. Yeah, well, don't come trying to me with your tricks of the tail on this one, okay? Oh, you mean like that story that John was telling? Outside, airborne in 15. The rest of you, no more parties till we get this gold job sewn up. Yeah, sir. Oh, well, yeah, sir. Yeah. It's all about Moxie. So, load times are actually pretty quick since we're playing an 11 year old game. So, you can see here's our Zeppelin, uh, the Pandora that we're going to actually launch from. And we'll start the game. Good luck out there, you two. Go make us millionaires. Yeah, and Betty, try not to kill the boss, okay? He's the only friend I got, you know. Oh, sorry to hear that, Jack. I'll do my best. Follow me, Betty. Try to get a feel for your plane and keep your eyes peeled. Yes, sir. So as you can see, we have our gauges on the front, compass on top, uh, 2,000 slugs for the guns, uh, I have three rockets, one of the sites over there. See it? altimeter or altitude with on the altimeter, speed and health. So a lot going on with the sound, as we can hear. The uh, big band music in the background. Uh, we have the voice actors going over, which the voice 